how much would an average person benefit from one extra hour of sleep per day? This is an interesting question, but the answer is one size does not to fit all. An average sleep requirement is about 8 hours, but people vary widely around this. Some people are lifelong short sleepers, happy with as few as 5 hours sleep per night, aunt. Some others are long sleepers, when left alone would sleep 9 to 10 plus hours. Circadian rhythm is an inborn sleep-wake clock, which makes one sleepy at a certain point of the day and wakes up at another time. In real life, sunlight synchronizes this cycle to about 24 hours. But in the absence of sunlight, the free-running clock has been shown to range from 18 hours to 30. That's why some people get tired a bit earlier each day, whereas others are able to keep going later and later into the night. The age of the person plays a big role in determining sleep. Sleep consists of different stages, with different events taking place during them. Growth hormone is secreted in stage 4 or during deep sleep, so, young people need more deep, stage 4 sleep than adults. Elderly and particularly the depressed people are in short of the amount of stage 4 sleep they can achieve. REM sleep, or dream sleep, during which time memory is consolidated, constitutes about 80% of the sleep in premature babies, 50% of the newborn sleep and about 25% of sleep in the adult. REM sleep occurs later in the sleep cycle that is why the alarm clock seems to disturb dreams. A sleep-deprived person is most likely to be deprived of REM sleep. When given a chance to doze, it is usually this REM debt which will be repaid. The danger and sleep deprivation is greatest in drivers. When exhausted, they are likely to briefly slip into REM dream sleep and hallucinate a clearer road to a busy one. The demands of life are often more challenging for long sleepers. They often have to compromise their need for sleep to meet other deadlines. In fact, many people choose professions which accommodate their sleep bias. The obstetrician must be able to function on little sleep. The surgeon must be an early riser. The consultant arranges his own schedule to accommodate sleep needs. So the question about an extra hour sleep is a bit tricky. In sleep science, there is a concept of sleep latency. The amount of time it takes a resting person to fall asleep. The shorter the latency, the more sleep deprived the person. Someone who dozes between the work is probably sleep deprived and would benefit from that extra hour. Studies of function at daylight savings time show that people do better when the clock is turned back to gain an hour as opposed to when it's advanced to lose one. Does the extra sleep time have to be at night? Many cultures have embraced the notion of a siesta and afternoon nap as highly restorative. Afternoon naps are a way of escaping the immobilizing heat of the day, which was an important feature of life on the African savanna. At mid-afternoon, Many people show a natural slump in performance and benefit from a nap or time out. Regarding the longevity, the important question is whether an increase in sleep time represents a change over the lifelong pattern. Change is a much more important indicator of pathology than amount. It is possible that an underlying disease process causes an additional requirement for sleep as well as the shortening of life. Thanks for not sleeping.